All right, uh, Keith Brinke here, Top MMA News, talking to Sean Quinn. Sean's here, here for CFC3. Um, Sean, uh, your last fight was earlier this year. You fought uh, Remy Morvan and unfortunate loss there. Uh, what happened in that fight at uh, Warrior One? Uh, you know, the fight was going my way very much, so uh, I felt it didn't last on the, on the, on the feet very long. It knocked him down with a good punch. Uh, his his jiu-jitsu was really strong uh, off his back. He, really well. He kept, he put me in a, a couple positions that uh, I had to defend and in defending I ended up giving up a sweep and then on my back and I was, I was fine on my back too. What ended up happening, uh, he ended up giving me enough space to kick him away so I did, I kicked him away and I came up and he strung back into me and I made the uh, decision to, to shoot the single leg. Fortunately when I shot the single leg, I left my head out a little bit and he caught it. They were practicing it. I talked to them. They were ready for that situation too. So he caught it, and you know that was, it was a, the choke is on right away. Like, I know how to defend that choke. It just it, it was tight right away. And it got, you got the good one. Yeah. Sure. And you fought here in Winnipeg before too. You fought uh, Eric Perez and got the win. Kind of a ground and pound type of guy, so you can see getting caught like that. Yeah. It, you know they know I have a wrestling background. Dominantly. Uh, wrestler. Uh, training out of a, at that time I was training primarily out of a jiu-jitsu camp and I knew that he was a jiu-jitsu guy himself. Uh, the game plan for that fight was to keep him on his back uh, and just pound on him, pound on him, and then like most of my fights pound on him until he makes the mistake and they get that submission. I just didn't like that time. So you're fighting uh, Francois Lacombe uh, tomorrow night at CFC 3. Now we've seen Francois here uh, earlier this year, and he pretty he knocked out a guy in impressive fashion. He, um, so what do you what do you expect from Francois? Have you seen anything on him? I, I've seen that fight. Uh, um, I know that he, he fought in X MMA. He got a little burned. Jiu Jitsu didn't look anything special. So Jiu Jitsu is obviously not my biggest really. I know that he does train with uh, Fabio Holanda. I don't know how much he trains with him. Uh, I don't know. I'm not too worried about the Jiu Jitsu. It's his hands, obviously, that are, that are going to be the issue. So uh, we've got an idea of how it is all that. And I think it'll be fine. So you care to share the strategy at all? No, I'm sorry. Not, not right now. Okay, so let me guess. So, you know, you, your wrestling background, ground and pound. Let me ask you. So CFC holds their fights in a ring, mm -hmm. and you can't use elbows. So, you know, does this hurt you at all? No. Does it affect your strategy at all? No. No? All right. So, any prediction on tomorrow's fight? I, I think that I'm going to win the fight, and uh, it's going to be finished for sure. Uh, it's not going three rounds. It'll be a good, good fight. It'll be, it'll be uh, something I, I need to get on the track. So, usually, I ask guys what's next coming up for them, and we know that you're fighting like one of the best, you know, one forty fivers, one thirty fivers as well in the country. Nick and he's fought Sengoku. He's been king of the cage, bantamweight champ. Um, He's got really good ha hands. So, you see on your mind at all at this point? Uh, you know, he, he might, he's in the back of the mind right now. He's he's kind of like the treat after this fight, but I got to deal with this fight. Uh, I'm not taking Francois lightly whatsoever. I, I feel very confident that I know what I need to do with him, and that's what we're going to do with him. But uh, yeah, Nick, Nick, I'm looking forward very much to fighting Nick Denny. One fight at a time, so I got to deal with this one first. So you know you're from Saskatchewan, and there's no pro fights anymore in Saskatchewan. So you know you're you know you're like the away guy here, although Francois as well. Yeah. You're going to Ottawa. You're definitely the away guy yeah. in Ottawa. You know, does this does this affect you at all? Does it does it matter being always the you know the away team? Uh, you know what? I really I would really love to be able to fight in my hometown and have you know, all my friends and family watch that. But I mean, when you're when you get it get to the big leagues anyways, how often you get to fight at home? You don't. So, we're all training for the big leagues. Uh, get ready for it somehow. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Sean Quinn, fighting tomorrow at CSC3. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Now, I was looking at you the whole time.